Joe, as, as a coach, how do you help people to recognize when one of the errant internal board members has snuck onto the driving seat, but you're not fully aware of it? The blind spots is really what yeah. I'm driving at. I think what's interesting is most people know what they are. You kind of know when you're in that position. The, the challenge you often have is realizing that that's, you can change that. So a lot of folks, especially in, in senior leadership roles, think that you can't, you know, classic cliches like you can't teach an old dog new tricks. They don't think that they can change their behavior. And it comes back to that idea again that that behavior has been so reinforced by so many winning strategies before, by so much success before. And this is definitely a challenge for, you look at an early stage founder who's then moving into hyper growth. The skills that have got you to that point to grow an early stage startup are not the same skills to grow a hyper growth company. They're not the same skills to grow a large enterprise. They're not. And so what can end up happening is the, one of those parts that was your winning strategy early on, like the furious worker for a good, is a good example of that. That furious worker, if you're doing furious worker for 10 years to build an enterprise business, that's going to be the end of you and probably most of your personal relationships as well. So the first thing is understanding that you don't want that person in control a lot of the time. And that does come from a little bit of self-awareness, is understanding and thinking to yourself at any situation, who's, who's driving the bus here? Having that conversation with yourself can help you get to that point where you spot those blind spots. I can't do it. I can help you do it, but it's something you've got to do yourself by just asking yourself the question in a challenging situation or looking back on a challenging situation. Who is or who was driving the bus at that point? Okay. Which is also good because that can help your inner critic from stopping you criticising yourself for silly things that you've done before. So there's lots of ways of using this calmness to look back on previous behaviour and understanding which member of or which ball was driving the bus at that point for you.